A Tulsa couple was in Nashville when those deadly storms moved through on Tuesday. They talked with News on Six's Mallory Thomas. Her story is new at five. John and Denise Redmond flew to Nashville on Monday for their business. They woke up Tuesday morning unsure how they would get back to Tulsa because the airport that they flew into had been ripped apart by a tornado. As Oklahomans, video just like this, a debris path for miles, is something we know well. John and Denise Redmond say they were about half a mile from the tornado. The one that struck at 41st and uh, Yale was close to our house, uh, but I've never had any real meaningful storm damage other than uh, this is as close as I've ever come to being affected by a tornado. It's strange. John says it's strange because this is weather we're used to seeing here in Tulsa. But, He's uh, kind of a weather guy, so he, when he saw what was happening, he said, we need to stay awake for this. <laughs> the next day, they found a picture on the internet showing the damage of another plane with their own in the background. That's our tail number, November 1, 6 Lima X-ray. It's upside down. It's upside down and the tail's it's missing. <laughs> John says aerial photos began popping up on the internet and they could see the extent of the damage. Hundreds of planes, cars, and at least six hangars hit, causing an estimated $90 million of damage there. John and Denise say they're heartbroken seeing the storm's damage and the lives it took. After kind of seeing the, the destruction and and then you start hearing about the loss of life and, and uh, you know, it was a big tornado that hit in the middle of the night and uh, so tragic and, you know, an airplane's not that big a deal at the end of the day. John says there was a fuel leak and a fire after the tornado. He said no one has been able to go into the airport to see the damage and how much the repairs are going to cost for them. Reporting in Tulsa, Mallory Thomas, Oklahoma's own News on 6.